Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet at the Zoe Chapel um, behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College on Sundays and on Wednesdays for our midweek service. Sundays in the mornings and uh, Wednesdays in the evening. Now, this, this uh, morning, I, I'm going to take you through a three-part um, series. This morning, it's dangerous partnerships. You know, ever since the creation of humanity, God rang out a message. The day Adam was created and God looked and said, ah, it is not good for man to be alone. God sets the stage for companionship or God sets the stage for partnerships. So that partnership is a need of humanity. It is not just a need of humanity. I mean, birds and you get it, he created birds and, and, and trees. So, so God created lion, lioness, tiger, tigress, uh, giraffe, giraffes, tree, trees, or something like that. You know, the, the need for companionship or the need for partnership is very, very primary. And uh, most of the time, everybody, people need to know this. Everybody needs a little help to get their lives together. So partnerships are a concept of God. In actual fact, in the creation of man, if you remember, God began that statement, he said, let us. So God appealed to the power of the plural in order for the creation of man. He didn't want to, to do it alone. The father didn't want to do it alone. But he said, let us make man in our image. So God appealed to partnership in the, in the creation of humanity, in the creation of man. So all throughout our lives, in our businesses, in everything, there is the need for partnerships. But you know, when I read the, 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 the story of uh, Gideon in the book of Judges chapter 6 and especially Judges chapter 7, you know, Gideon was from a very impoverished, in chapter 6, we meet Gideon coming from a very impoverished family and all the challenges. In fact, one of the greatest challenges of Gideon was not just the fact that Israel was in bondage to the Midianites, but he was also dealing with serious uh, poverty. In fact, he said, see, when God said to him, I'm sending you that mighty man, he said, hey, haven't you heard, my family is the poorest in the whole of Manasseh, and I am the least in my family. And that means that in terms of poverty, I was way down the line. American preachers will say he was poor. I mean, I don't understand what that means, but anyway, but that's what they say. But down the ladder of poverty, there resided Gideon. Now, Gideon had done things. God asked him to make, uh, Gideon offered God a sacrifice and, and Gideon had gone to pull down the altar. That thing which was responsible for the level of poverty or the level of impoverishment that the Midianites had imposed upon the whole of Israel was right in Gideon's home. We'll deal with that in a later matter. But the interesting thing about, for me, was that now Gideon, he had, he had prayed, he had sacrificed, he had offered himself and he, he had, he had, I mean, he had rallied um, the people. He had broken down altars. So all the strongholds that we, I mean, we charismatic, the jargons, we are breaking down strongholds, you know, I mean, all the things that we see. He had gone through the power route. An angel had, this, had, had ascended in his offering. I mean, that, that is something else. I mean, I, I mean, goodness me. But then in Judges chapter 7, after he had prepared the army, he's now going to take on the Midianites. The Bible says God comes to town, and that's the first part of it. God comes to town and God says to him, Gideon, there's no way I'm going to give you the victory in Judges chapter 7. He said, there's no way I'm going to give you this victory. Not because you have not fasted. Not because you have not prayed. Not because of any other thing. But because of the people with you. God said... I don't like the kind of people around you. I'm not too satisfied with the kind of company that you have. I'm not too satisfied with the kind of partnerships that you have. And guess what? The reason God said to Gideon, it's not because you have not fasted. It's not because you have not prayed. 
but the kind of partnership that you have is going to detrimental to your destiny. The partnership that you have, I can't work with it. Is it possible that sometimes it's the people around us that God wants to do something, but the people around us, we call them dangerous partners. So as a result of that, you're fasting, you're praying, and you're doing everything right, but the people around you. Is it possible that the people around us become stumbling blocks to our path or to our climb to destiny, to our climb to the pinnacles of, 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 of success? Are the people around us, are they, are, do, are they, is their presence inimical to your progress? Are they enemies of progress? Now, dangerous partners can, so you can see a company that is doing brilliantly well, but the company will fail not because of anything, but because of dangerous partners. That means that sometimes people do not even know this. You get it? Now, the Bible's in the parable of the, of the wheat and the tares. The good man plants uh, wheat, and then the enemy comes and plants tares, so right at the beginning of the inception of the company, right at the beginning of the inception of, of the whole process, plantings are there, satanic plantings. Plantings that are going to be detrimental to your progress. Plantings that are going to impede your progress. Plantings that are going to be liabilities to your success. I call them dangerous partners. And God said to Gideon, I am not going to give you the victory not because you're not prayerful, not because you've not um, uh, offered sacrifice, not because angels have not ascended, not because you didn't hear the voice of God, not because I didn't give you the dream or I didn't empower you to go face the Midianites. But the reason why God said to Gideon, I am not going to give you the victory is because of dangerous partners. So you know what? Make a date with me and then we're going to go into the nitty gritties of those dangerous partners See you next time.